welcome back everyone and I'm going to start off by saying I'm so sorry for being missing in action but I lost my mojo. Plain and simple, I had no inspiration to create. Getting back to my layout, I cut out these oval templates and stuck them over my photos and I'm just going to cut them out because for some reason I wanted my photos in an oval shape. So once I have my photos cut out into an oval shape, I will be working on my title. I did use gesso on my paper so that I could do some mixed media down the track. On my silhouette machine, I cut out these lovely sort of circle patterns that I got from the silhouette store, where from that lovely patterned paper that was in my stash. And now I'm just going to cut out my main background and I'm going to adhere it to this lovely red cardstock that for some reason is looking orange on my screen. I'm not sure what's happening there. So I'm just adhering my photos down to the scalloped background that I also cut out on my silhouette machine. I actually dusted off my old, old sewing machine and I did some stitching with the using the zigzag stitch on my machine and I quite like the effect that that had. So the title is going to be Please Excuse the Miss, The Kids Are Making Memories. And I'm just using the Distress Oxides in black soot to, oh, to what? To what am I trying to say? I'm so sorry. My brain's not even thinking. I am just painting, inking, inking, that's the word, inking the word please in this black ink. On the word please, I will also be using my Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes in the colour Dusty Charcoal. And I, what I'm doing there is I'm just activating the colour by adding a bit of water to it. So while I'm waiting for it to, for that black colour tag today, I am just inking the word excuse and you'll soon see me get my little paintbrush and paint the word please. Oh, there it is. And I just love the shimmer that it adds to this, to the word. I just love my Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes, they're one of my favourite items which I have been playing with quite a bit lately. I've now changed my mind and instead of having all the title in black, I am going to go in with the Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes once again, but this colour is called Envy. And I have decided that every word is going to be a different colour. I'm not going to bore you with the whole process of me painting this whole word excuse, so I'm just going to cut to the end. There you go. Almost all done. So once again, I'm just going to use my dusty charcoal shimmer cube, and I'm just going to paint the word therefore in the same colour as please. Check out the colour envy. I just love how that looks and the shimmer that it adds. So what am I doing here? Oh yes, I'm using a Kaiser Craft stencil. This stencil is actually called Grunge, but I've masked most of it off. And I'm just using some texture paste and adding a bit of texture to my word mess. So I did dry the modeling paste with the heat gun. And I'm now going to be using my shimmer cubes once again. And this color is Fire Engine. I originally painted the word mess with the shimmer cube in copper but I really didn't like that so now I'm going over it with the color fire engine but I don't like that either so I'm just adding some gesso and I'm going to start all over again it just didn't have the pop of color that I really wanted while I'm waiting for my gesso to dry on the word mess I'm going in with my distress crayon in black soot to colour in the other word, D. I'm just using my finger to smudge all that lovely colour into the paper. I did use the colour Rose Petal from my Shimmer Cubes collection to paint the word kids. I, um, I didn't record that bit. I'm not sure why. I might have just forgot to press record. But really, all I did was just paint the word kids with the rose petal. So you haven't really missed much. You know what to do. 
And all I'm doing now is I'm using another distress crayon and this colour that I'm using for the word making is called tumbled glass. I'm going to add some shimmer to the word making and I'm just going to be using the shimmer cube called Singing the Blues. This is another beautiful colour. Who am I kidding? All the colours are beautiful in the shimmer cube collection. And I know because I bought them all. I'm going to be working on my word memories now and I'm using the Starlight's Metallic Paint in red and I'm not sure why my red does not look red on my screen, it looks orange. But anyway, on the photos you will see that everything is red, not this orangey colour that's showing up on on my screen as I'm, as I'm editing this. I'm hoping that on everybody else's screen it's actually the true colour red. I'm going to use this very same colour on the word mess as well because I, for some reason I really loved this metallic red paint. And thanks to the wonders of editing you didn't have to see me paint every single word. Now all I'm doing now is just slightly tracing with a pencil over my patterned circle paper so that I know where not to do my packaging technique and waste time. And I'm just going in with my shimmer cubes obviously once again. And this is the colour blush. It's a lovely soft shimmery pink. All I'm doing is putting it to some packaging that I had lying around and activating with a bit of water and down it goes. I don't think you can really see it on on this video, but in real life, it's a beautiful, shimmery, soft pink. Absolutely love it. This would be great on some lovely oh, baby layouts, that's what I'm trying to say. I then use the colour Envy once again. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the blush colour and just the packaging technique. Plump it down just for a bit more contrast to the background paper. I also used the shimmer cubes to add some splatters to this page and I quite liked how that looked. And here is a close-up, splatters and all. See how lovely that baby pink is? I must admit, I really liked how this background turned out with the shimmer cubes and the packaging technique. Lovely shimmer. Can you see that shimmer there? And the splatters? That's all just with the shimmer cubes. I'm just using a bit of adhesive to stick down some of these little circles and then I went to my sewing machine and did some very messy stitching. All because this layout is about the mess that the kids made on this particular day. Confession time, the longest part about this layout was trying to get the words right and trying to make everything fit, but once I fiddled around with it, everything gets stuck down and the layout is almost complete. Off camera, I did glue down all my words and now I'm just adding some very messy thread just in certain areas just to add a bit more texture to the layout. So once again, I'm going to apologise for not making videos in a little while, but um, hopefully my mojo is back and it's here to stay. Here are some close-ups and I'm going to wish you all a very happy Easter and till next time. There are going to be some still shots coming up which where you will hopefully see, oh yes, red, there it is, told you it was red. But anyway, thank you all for your lovely support and hopefully I will see you very soon. Bye everyone and take care.